morning everybody it's not really that cold today I don't know if I can even do a polar bear video let's check the temperature and see oh yeah I guess I can it is definitely below 32 so hooray for me let's get out on the road it's only going to work so it's like seven miles but hey every little All bit right. counts. So, close the garage You can see that because it looks real blurry to me, but two, three, five, nine, one. I'm going to clear this trip computer to zero. Get zero. All right. And off we go. That's very nice. Is that tree there? I like that. Against the background of the sky. There's the sun. It's early in the morning. The temperature's gonna go up now. Ooh, look at the ice. Last time I was uh, talking about places I've lived, and I talked about this apartment I lived in back in Massachusetts, where that smoking old lady, she wasn't smoking hot, an old smoker lady always screaming at her husband. His name wasn't Larry, I, re I remembered, it's Ralph. So, that was one of the delights of where I live. Made it quaint. Unique. City life. But the big story was, this guy named Happy. He lived downstairs on the first floor, I was on the third. And Happy was a one-legged ex-marine with a serious drug and alcohol problem and uh, apparently he served in Vietnam which is great you know as a Marine he served our, our country and so bravo to him right but uh, see that wasn't the problem the problem was he was just an alcoholic and a, and a drug user and probably because of the war you know so Happy had one leg and I thought it was because he lost it in the war and I totally would, you know, understand. Probably should have been more understanding anyway, but... Happy lost his leg in a motorcycle accident. Drinking and riding. It was sad, but... This poor guy... Uh, he would just be completely soused all the time. And one night, I'm in my apartment watching TV, and I hear somebody laying on a horn. For, you know good oh that's ice wow that was solid ice I just went over a sheet of ice <laughs> uh. so he's laying on my horn and I'm not too appreciating this you know so I look out the window see who it is okay it's happy and he keeps doing it doing it doing it doing it and I'm getting pissed it's like 9 30 at night this guy's laying on his horn over and over again trying to get his wife to come out and his wife used to be the lunch lady at my uh, community college where I was a student back in uh, 1989 and she looked horrible she looked like 50 pounds of shit in a 10 pound bag it was bad all pockmarked and wrinkly and she probably was in her mid 40s but she looked like she was in her 70s from all the drinking and smoking and all that she just looked awful she looked like Tip O'Neill I don't know if you remember him, but she kind of looked like Tip O'Neill in, 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 in drag. So uh, I get on the stairs to go outside and yell at him and tell him to stop it. And as I get to the bottom step, I notice that uh, the apartment door is open to where he lives. And his wife, my lunch lady, is standing there. And she's got nothing on from the waist down. Okay, so that's, that's horrifying enough. But when I realize that she's got nothing on I, I look up very quickly and then I see that she's bleeding profusely from the head that's right folks bleeding profusely from the head and just kind of standing there in a daze like she had just woken up from her blood-soaked sleep apparently she had fallen on her face or something <sighs> so 
itself stunned, I say to her, um, can't remember her name now, I say Mary, Mary, could you please go out there and tell Happy to stop this, stop making noise? I turn around and go back upstairs. Completely freaked out. And wonder what the hell, I'm nonplussed at this point. Like, what is going on, right? So, I go upstairs and I call the cops. I say, screw this. She's obviously not capable of going out there and shutting him up. So, a couple of minutes later, the cops show up. Because they, they're very familiar with Happy. I see the cop roll up behind him. And he's in the passenger side of the car, laying on the horn. And the cop walks up and he says, Hey, Happy! What are you doing? So Happy says, Well, my wife to drive it out of the packing so I can get me some beer. So he looks across the street at the lady who's still in the doorway, kind of holding herself up, and he says, Your wife's more in the bag than you are. Get out of that car. Go to, go to bed. So Happy proceeds to get out of the car with his one leg, falls flat in his face, right on the sidewalk. They have to help him up. And, oh, don't fucking help me. I can do it myself. And he's, you know, with his crutches and stuff, manages, I don't know how, grace of God, to get himself back in the house. And that was a typical event. I mean, this guy, I don't know why he was asking his wife to drive because he, he very often drove completely trashed. I've seen him park at the end of the street, which is at a red light, so it's a four-way intersection. And he would park at the end of the street, perpendicular to the flow of traffic. Yeah, perpendicular. So nobody could get past him in the right-hand lane. They'd have to go into the left-hand lane at a red light, you know, at, a, at an intersection to get around him. And then he would open up the driver's side door, fling himself onto the ground, and then crawl across the street to get back home because he forgot his crutches. You got a one-legged ex-marine drunk off his nut and he's crawling across the street to get back to his apartment after driving drunk home. Yeah, yeah. And as backdrop to this, there's a crackhead lady and she's in the middle of the street, which is a double yellow line kind of street, you know, it's a major road. And she's screaming at her boyfriend who's sitting on the curb, get away from me. I don't love you. I don't want you anymore. You can keep my shit. Just keep my shit. Get away from me. And then 20 minutes later, they're hugging on the curb. And then another 20 minutes later, she's back in the street. And now she's screaming at him, give me my shit. I want my shit. And this, this, this was a typical day. Oh. When I first moved there, I had just come from Fiji, living in a little village environment where there are cows and chickens walking past on a daily basis, just roaming free, eating sugar cane, the cows, I mean, not the chickens. What's this big guy sitting out there? Hello. So I moved from Fiji, this beautiful, idyllic, quiet little island environment, to back to, you know, my hometown. And as I open up the apartment window for the very first time, to listen to the sounds of the world that I had returned to. What do I hear? I hear... And I realized that that is somebody firing a handgun. And I sighed, and I thought, ah, I'm home. Turns out that a girl had been shot in the face that day, and I actually heard it happen. Yeah, high school chick got shot in the face because she was doing somebody else's boyfriend. Oh well. So uh, to everyone out there in YouTube world, I wish you a very good day. This nice Wednesday, the 20 something of January, 6th or 7th. I hope you're all happy and well. Ride safe, stay warm, and I'll talk to you later. Okay folks, so we have 23600. And let's get on. There you go, 8.7.